And it says Lionsgate sets John Wick spinoff ballerina for summer of 2024. So let's go ahead and move on to topic number two, because that Mario really wasn't a topic. But since you asked about John Wick, you know, it's a perfect segue, perfect, perfect segue for topic number two. And I do want a spinoff of this series, but I don't necessarily think I would want one for this particular character. But we'll see. We'll see. I do have faith in all the creators. And this is topic number two coming from the Hollywood Reporter. And it says Lionsgate sets John Wick spinoff ballerina for summer of 2024. And again, guys, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link down to this in the description box for you to read at your own leisure. Let's dig further. Lionsgate has set a summer release next year for Ballerina, the studio's John Wick spinoff set in the world of the Keanu Reeves action franchise. The Anna de Armas starring action pick will hit theaters June 7th, 2024. The official dating of the Lens Wiseman director Tim Paul follows John Wick for crossing $250 million worldwide box office on Monday. Lionsgate John Wick's four debut with a 73.8 million during its opening weekend. And now, like I said, 245 uh, globally, uh, 245 million globally this weekend. Ballerina sees the armor star as an assassin trained in the traditions of the Rusca Roma. She uses her killer skills to get revenge when her family killed, when her family is killed by hitmen. The pick also stars Angelica Huston, Gabrielle Byrne, and the late Lance Reddick. Catalina Sanino, Marino, Norman, Keanu Reeves, and Machine is, is in the ensemble cast. Shay Hayden, who wrote the script for Ballerina, based on characters created by Derek Kolstad. The Lions Gate, while released a Thunder Roll Films and 87 11 production, is produced by Basil Iwan Iwanik, Eric, Erica Lee, and Chaz Tahelski, who who is the director behind the John Wick franchise. Brandy Fujikawa and Chelsea Kujawa oversaw the project for Lionsgate, which was shot in Europe. In addition to Ballerina Lionsgate TV has the Continental prequel. Event series works for Peacock domestically and Amazon internationally. It also possible. It is also possible a fifth John Wick could be on the table. And that is it right there. Very short article. But again, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there's a link down to this in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure. But what do y'all think about this? I mean, I really did enjoy the film. Uh, again, shameless plugging. You can go check out my review if you want to. I would really appreciate it because uh, it was a great film. But the reason what I was starting off saying is I do want a spinoff of the John Wick universe. You can have 50 million spinoffs. I just don't know if the ballerina is this, you know, tickling my fancy. Um, I would rather see a continental uh, spinoff or how that started off. I would rather see... Any, I, I would rather see one with Lawrence Fishburne's character, one with Donnie Yen's character, Kane, that was in John Wick 4. I would like to see an origin on how the whole John Wick world universe started with the high table and the origins there, or, you know, whatever. Or, I mean, you you had, if you saw John Wick 4, um, one of the main good guys that was teams with, uh, friends with John Wick, he was in Japan. You know, he had his own version of Continental in Okinawa or whatever. What whatever city uh, that was in Japan. I would want to see all of those, but the ballerina, it just doesn't really grab me. You know, it could be the dopest thing ever. It could be, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I mean, uh, are y'all interested in this at all? Yeah, I, I would rather, I rather a Kane spinoff. Are they going to do the John Wick TV series? They might. I would rather see a John Wick order story. Yeah, because John Wick won, he was retired. You know? So uh it could be it could be good, but not too excited for the plot. Sounds exactly like John Wick. Yeah. You know, it, it could be awesome. It could be awesome. So we're just gonna have to see. 
But you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section if this does excite you or not, if this does tickle your fancy, because I am curious, but um, it's not really just grabbing me right now. But I am curious on what you guys have to say. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think, because like I said, I'm very, very curious to know.